dic Xavier Estivill, soc metge, i el que més m'agrada de la meva feina és que treballem en l'estudi de les malalties humanes, de les malalties de base genètica, i en aquests moments estem a punt de conèixer les seves causes genètiques que ens permetran prevenir, diagnosticar i tractar totes aquestes malalties. Estem al Centre de Regulació Genòmica on coordino un projecte finançat per la Comissió Europea que intenta unificar i coordinar esforços de diferents països amb aquesta finalitat. Si m'acompanyeu, us ensenyarem i us explicarem de què va aquest projecte. The DNA of a person, and more specifically small parts of the DNA called genes, contain the main information about that person. Heights, colors of the eyes, favorite food, all of this information is contained in the DNA. But when the DNA contains wrong information, some diseases can appear. The way to study these genes is through a process called sequencing. For this process, we use very complicated machines called sequencers. These sequencers exist throughout Europe, but maybe the same information can be interpreted in a different way in different laboratories. What we do in the Jovadis project is we share and distribute samples throughout different centers and make sure that we speak the same language. The goal is really to find common standards to understand the same information from the DNA. The Geovadis project brings together 17 different institutes from all over Europe and the CRG is coordinating the project which also includes some of the best experts in sequencing. And the centers look not just at the DNA, but also at a molecule called RNA. And RNA is the molecule that translates the orders of the DNA into proteins, which are then affecting the functions in the cell. Before we can read the DNA of a person, we need to first extract it. And we can, for instance, extract it from a blood cell. So even though the DNA is very small, so it's in fact too small that you can see it in any kind of microscope. It's still very, very long, and it's too long to really fit into our sequencing machine. So therefore, the first thing we do is that we break it into pieces, and then when they're of an approximate size, we put them into the sequencing machine here. And once in the sequencing machine, uh, we leave it for about a week and basically what the sequence machine does is to translate the DNA into digital text that we can load into a computer. So these are then the DNA in digital format and then using complicated computer programs we can then here assemble it back in the original ordering. So this is a quite complicated process and there are many things that can be done in different ways. So for instance, the way that we cut the DNA here in Barcelona might be different from the way they do it in Berlin. And in order to be able to really compare the results, we need to standardize the methods. And so far, it looks like we're succeeding in doing this in Giovanni's. Estem en un moment en el que s'estan estudiant centenars de malalties que afecten a milers de persones a la població europea i mundial. És un moment realment apassionant per poder disseccionar la causa de totes aquestes malalties. I és imprescindible que coordinem esforços perquè les eines que fem servir per estudiar i analitzar aquestes malalties es puguin traslladar d'una manera adequada per al diagnòstic, la prevenció i el seu tractament.